welcome to ATROL's Project Platform video tutorial. The Team Server Project Platform consists in both a web-based project management tool for the translation industry and a communication platform for all players involved in the projects. The platform allows project managers and language service providers to dispatch translation packages, assign tasks to users for each project, and follow up projects in real time. The platform is fully web-based, thus accessible from any web-connected device. The number of users is unlimited. Every user has a web-based personal section. Users are informed of changes and updates by automatic email notifications. The platform centralizes all the project resources, files, comments, and communications. I am a project manager for a language service provider. This is the Deja Vu X2 multilingual project I have to manage. It contains three files. First, I choose to pre-translate it against the team server translation memory. I can split the project in one go using the Divide and Dispatch module before sending the packages for translation. For more information on the Divide and Dispatch module, see the dedicated e-learning video. It does not matter what cap tools my translators are using or whether they even use one. For this project, I choose to export three sub-projects to the translators. One Deja Vu satellite file, one XLIF file for a translator using another CAT tool, and one RTF file for the one not using CAT tools. Openness and compatibility are at the core of the software. I can automatically export and upload all these packages to the project platform. I can also attach an analysis and database subsets with each package if required. I check the options I want. If not connected so far, Deja Vu X2 prompts me to enter my team server credentials. Deja Vu X2 takes care of the rest automatically. I go on the administrator control panel of my team server. Here is my manage project menu. I click on the Manage button. By default, I am the project manager since I have performed the upload. The email notifications box is checked. This implies that I will get an email notification every time a project or task state changes, further to comments or work delivery, for example. I can also change the project manager of this project or add several other project managers. First of all, I want this translator to translate this package. I choose the task Translate. I specify a deadline. Prior to or after this operation, I can upload some reference material, such as the source file itself or some guidelines, by clicking here. I can download or delete it at any time. An analysis and database subsets are also available for each package. I can also download the package automatically uploaded from Deja Vu X2 by clicking on Initial Task File. All the files are stored on the server. My submission is complete. I click on the Save icon. The status now reads as Confirmation Pending. Note that as a project manager, I can upload files of any format and create new tasks manually without using Deja Vu X2.
The Team Server Project Platform is an open, predefined workflow linking all the players involved in the projects. I leave a message for the translator. In the meantime, the translator has received an email notification informing him that a new task has been assigned to him. Here is the email. Various information is displayed, such as the task, project, translator and client names, the subject, the delivery date, and the source and target languages. The translator connects to his personal section to get details and download the files needed to start the translation. Reference files are available for download here. Before starting, he has to accept or decline the task I have assigned him. The translator can also leave me a comment before or during the translation process. The comment is available immediately. At this point, I get two email notifications. The first one for the accepted task. The second one for the new comment. On the project platform, I see here that the task has been accepted and the translation is in progress. If the translator had declined, the status would be displayed like this. The translator now downloads and translates the package I have assigned him. Once he has finished the translation, he returns the package by clicking on this button. The original package remains downloadable at any time. By checking this Work Completed box, the translator signifies that his upload is the final one. He can also add a comment. Once the translator has finished, he clicks on Save and Upload. I am notified that the translation work has been returned and that a comment has been added. The status has now changed to Returned. I can download the submitted file to check the translation. Files are available under the After Task section. If I am satisfied with the return translation, I can go ahead with the next step. Clicking on Next Task will automatically close the present task and create a new one. The translator gets an email notification informing him that the current task has been closed. The translator is no longer able to download the reference files. His personal section is now empty. For the following tasks, the same workflow is to be followed. I assign packages to the chosen proofreader. A validate task is also available for a final check before delivery. I can launch one of these processes, both or none of them. I am free to manage projects as I want and to close tasks any time should I need to do so. I am not dependent on the project platform or Deja Vu X2. The project platform and the team server are designed to fit any type of workflow and tools used. The current state of work for each project is displayed in real time. 
task assignments, task statuses, and log of comments. I am always aware of the state of progress of my various packages thanks to the real-time update of the statuses. Here are the different statuses available on the project platform. Cancelled, declined, stopped, in progress, confirmation pending, returned. Note that any time I can download all files stored for this project. This is useful if a backup is needed before closing the project. I can close the project if I want to by clicking on this icon. Feel free to do so if there are too many projects on your project platform. When closing the project, the entire project will be deleted from the Manage Project list, including all information and files. All open tasks and related files will be removed from the personal section of all users involved. Warning. Close the project only once the project has been fully completed and backed up. Online help is available on the platform for me and my users. I click on the question mark icon. This page provides guidance on how to use the project platform. The same icon is available from the user's personal section providing guidance on how to use the personal section. More e-learning modules on www.hl.com.